So today I am finally getting around to doing a little unboxing of uh, some products that I've gotten for my next little project, which is my 2007 Nissan Xterra. I uh, just bought this Xterra uh, a few weeks ago and um, actually already put about 2,000 miles on it. Got it with 66,000 miles on it and it's actually fantastic. Uh, had a couple little issues that I've had to address, uh, but because it was so low miles, so I'm really happy with it. Uh, V6, 4 liter V6, got over 260 horsepower, 285 pound feet of torque, really nice driving vehicle, um, drives really clean and nice, so I'm really fan, uh, fantastically pleased with it. And it's got a 6 speed manual transmission, I love driving a 6 speed manual transmission, really smooth transmission in this truck, so I'm really happy with that. But, needs a little help with some suspension components, so I got the Rough Country kit, and what I have here is the rear shocks that I'm going to be putting on today and these also will have uh, uh, later on we'll be putting on a shackle extension for the rear which will give it a little bit of uh, a little bit more lift in the rear but i actually have the the thing i'm really super excited about is the two and a half inch rough country front coil over suspension lift so these will be going on i'm going to see if i can't get these on today as well so the biggest issue that I'm having is with some of the uh, bolts just making sure that I can get them loose without breaking something that's always a bit of a challenge when you got an older vehicle even with low mileage it still has a little bit of rust so I'm real excited about these coil over front shocks and the difference it will make both in the ride quality um, and in with a little bit of additional lift so that I can actually clear a little bit bigger tires because I'm going to be using this vehicle for some off-roading and uh, there's some trails here in Virginia that I like to go tackle and uh, I'm not going to be doing anything big. I don't want to be putting big huge tires on there because it's going to be a daily driver as well. But um, I do have a set of 32s that'll, um, that'll go on there that'll, that'll make it a little bit better for, for some of the off-roading that I'm going to do. Probably going to install a uh, locker on there as well. I've got an ARB system I'm looking at to, to get installed. Uh, it's, it's not a Pro 4X. It's actually an S model, but it is four-wheel drive and certainly very capable, but it really needs lockers. So we'll be putting uh, an air locker system in it. I'll be putting the, I'll, I'll probably be getting the um, compressor and mounting that. I've actually got a, a mounting place right, right behind the driver's side headlight is where that will probably be going. And then I have a mechanic that I'll be having to install the rear locker. And then eventually I'll have a, a front locker installed on it as well. So this thing will be really super capable. Beautiful truck though. Love the six-speed transmission. These things are fantastic, really great to drive. So anyway, stay tuned. I'll show you some pictures of what it looks like when I get the front suspension. Um, so it'll, it'll have two and a half inches of lift. Right now I'm just putting on the shocks on the rear. Eventually I'll put the uh, lift shackles on the back, but it looks really nice uh, as far as the kit is concerned. But take a look at these. These are the actual shocks that came off of it. So yeah, it needs some new shocks. And these were absolutely shot. So those are not going back on.